Hello there, I'm Black Bright. Um, welcome to my channel. If it's the first time passing through, please click the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and the thumbs down if you don't. You can share it if you'd like to share it with someone else or you can subscribe if you want a little bit more. Um, I wanted to recite a poem. I meant to include it in the video I did, Message to Murderers of Returnees. And then I completely forgot, even though I had the book in my hand. So I'm going to recite it now. It's called La Admikian Tani Tina Hinglan. And it's, I kind of switch between regular English, Patois and Cockney. Because I'm kind of playing my role, the, per, the, the returnee's role. Well, not the returnee, the Windrush person's role. And the racist white people's role. And I combined it all into a poem. So, Lord McKeon, Tanitina, England. Boarding the bus the other day, a burly black woman blocked my way. Wobbling into an already delegated seat, she planted her load between two white ladies' feet. She snarled and then snorted as if ready to bore into the two women sitting each side of her. Just as the bus started pulling off, out of her mouth emanated a laugh. She then started to wheeze and on blowing her nose, she nervously bawled out the tales of her woes. Lord, me can't tell it in England. This country I got bring me down. Me want to go back on the country, but not even a penny me horn. Me say me can't tell it in England. Me want to go back to me people them. Is where I'm gonna get this weather from? He kill off my husband and my one girl child and leave me with no one for go reconcile. Then do hard topsy for me one pickany and certify it as cut debt. But me no say nothing down go so. I the cool weather take our last breath. The same way he caught me cause husband Claude. He would be alive now if he did back a yard. But we leave we're from Jamaica for come here. Thinks a life would be better. But life no better, it was. And that is why we have a cause. Them cut off me electricity this morning without so much as a warning. They met police come for arrest me because them said the rent don't pay. No wonder them make me a turn mad because them people treat me too bad. The tremor in her voice caused the sandwich to fumble, and the sizzling filling continued her grumble. Why oh, we can't turn it in England? Me want to go back to me people them. The two women limped away from her side, obviously deciding to discontinue their ride. While they were waiting to dismount the bus, I overheard their conversation. Was she on about us? Yeah, said the other, ungrateful blacks. They come over here without clothes on their backs, using social security to live a life of luxury, and most of them fill up our council flats. The government don't care about the likes of you and me. Us whites are the proper beneficiaries. I don't know, most of them are living off of the dull. Ain't interested in working or playing their role. They go on complaining. It gets on me nerves. What, the, what about this discrimination thing? I think it's absurd. No more barbar -bar black sheep and gollywogs on jam because these foreigners call it discrimination. Have you ever heard of such a load of shit? They make their beds, they better lie in it. Not come over here to complain about our weather. What's a bit of rain? You know what I think the government should do? Send them monkeys back to the zoo. I sat back and shook my head. They had misunderstood every word she had said. They translated her disorientation as an attack on their country. And so they fought back with vicious words and an unforgiving heart and that avenging scourge that permeates that part of our people, making them realize and understand that their contribution to the economy has meant nothing to man. So, that was it. I know I fumbled up a little bit, but it's a bit hard. The writing is really small and I wrote it a long time ago and I don't remember all the words, but I hope you get my gist. And that's all for now. Bye bye.